My name is Jeff Bowers. I am with Imagine Technologies and I am the Reality Capture Technical Manager. And what we thought we would do today is spend a little bit of time getting to know the BLK. We're going to give you some ins, the outs of what this unit can do. What we're going to do for a few minutes is take the equipment, assemble it together to start the process so we can start scanning. First thing we did was we've got our tripod. We have decided at Imagine Technologies to use a, a taller, more adjustable tripod. We went with the ProMaster uh, XC525. Uh, it's extendable. And you're going to notice that I already have our BLK adapter attached to the tripod. What we want to do is go ahead and very securely hold our case and start pulling our unit out. Now that we've got our unit out, what we want to do is we're going to press both buttons on either side of the BLK adapter. We'll go ahead and lock it on here. Before you let go, be mindful, be very careful. We want to make sure that the tripod legs are fastened or, or locked into place. And also, we want to be able to make sure that the unit is securely attached to the adapter. Then we can let go. Now we're ready to scan. So what we're going to do now is take the BLK, go ahead and move it into our first position, get it set up so that we can start the first scan. Uh, I've got it set up now. I am going to go ahead and make sure that the legs are nice and secure. To turn this unit on, I simply hold it in the back. I have a power button here. I'm going to press and hold that power button down for about a second. You're going to notice the lights kick on. Uh, now I'm going to go grab my iPad so that we can start scanning. What we want to do is go ahead and click on our settings and using our Wi-Fi connection, I want to make sure that the scanner and the unit are connected together. Click on our settings, look at our Wi-Fi, and we're going to ensure that the BOK is connected using the Wi-Fi signal. I'm now going to hit home and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use the Autodesk Recap Pro app. First thing we need to do is come in here and I'm going to choose new project. Under new project I'm going to simply give it a name and we'll give it the name sample. I'm going to hit capture. Now this is going to take me into the screen where I have control over the scanner. Before we do I want to go in and make sure that some of our settings are set up correctly. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to hit settings and I'm going to use in-app settings. You're going to notice that I have three settings, low, medium, and high. For today, we're simply going to use the medium setting. You're going to notice that I have full control over my photos, whether I take photos or not, whether I do HDR or not. Once you've made that decision, I can simply pick into the screen anywhere and now I just simply need to hit new scan. Once I hit new scan, the scanner will now start scanning. Now that I've hit new scan, you'll see that the scanner is starting. So now that the scan is completed, you're going to notice that the data has been transferred here to our iPad. Please note that the data is still located on the scanner. Looking here, in order to view this data, what I want to do is simply pick on the images. From here, once the images are open, I can now take my finger using my gestures and be able to navigate around to look at the type of data or the quality of the data that was captured with the BLK scanner. So now that the scan is completed, what we're going to do is go ahead and pick up our scanner and we're going to move it to the next location. Once I get to my location, I'm going to set it down, make sure that the legs are still secure. Now I am ready to start the second scan. All I need to do is come in here, hit new scan, and now it is working. That second scan is finished scanning. What we want to do is you're going to notice that the data has been transferred to the iPad and it has turned red. When it turns red, that is telling me and giving me the indication that it's ready to be registered. You just simply need to pick on the image. You're going to notice that the registration screen comes up. If this registration is the way you want it to be, most of the time it will be. All I need to do is hit Merge Scan. Now those two scans have been registered together. Today we spent a little bit of time working with the BLK. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at imagineit.com.